we no grape industry, every tonne of grapes uh, that you process, you're left with 25% of that 250 gram, kilograms of grape skins and seeds and stalks and stuff. So quite, quite quickly, if you're a reasonable size operation, you build up quite a bit of waste. And as being an organic property, I was hired to, um, to take Saracen, uh, the wine company, into organics. And so the first thing we sort of start doing is composting. And then I get a visit from the council to ask me if I have a certified compost pad, which I didn't know I needed, uh, which then I had to get sorted. And uh, one, of the way, reason, uh, one of the ways around that we saw is to investigate a large style Bokashi compost um, to put a, a cover on it so leachate wasn't going to be an issue um, because really in well-made compost, the leachate really only comes from excessive rainfall we find. So, um, we did, uh, and we were, we were heading down the biodynamic track, so we made two composts side by side, um, and we made them biodynamically in that we were layering the compost, um, carbon nitrogen, carbon nitrogen, you know, a few other add additives in there like seaweed, etc. The both composts were prepped. Um, one compost had EM inoculated into it um, in a liquid form, and then covered with a silage sheet, battened down and left. Um, the thing that I couldn't get my head around originally with Mike was when he was saying, you know, this, this compost will be ready uh, by next spring. And it certainly was. Um, then samples were taken, and forgive my memory if something goes wrong here, but samples were taken and sent down to the BHU where they tested both types of compost. And the first thing that stood out was the Bokashi compost. Now you have to accept that although we tried to make the two composts exactly the same, exactly the same ingredients, you know, there will be some variation, but the Akashi compost, every single nutrient in the compost was quite significantly higher than its comparative compost. Okay, so that found that quite interesting. And then I believe they took both sets of composts, mixed it with a growing medium and grew some fast growing annuals, put them under pressure to see whether any pathogens came out of the compost, uh, any old uh, powdery mildew, botrytis spores to, to infect you know, the little plants probably at dicotyledon stage, but um, neither compost showed that. So one of the questions often asked, if you put the cover on it and you don't aerate it, is it going to get hot enough to kill a lot of the pathogens? Well, I think the sort of thing shows that it obviously does. 